couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which we'll learn Lean On Me. I'll play it for you first so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down as usual, lick by lick, note by note, chord by chord, sound by sound, with tabs right here on the screen, of course. But first, I'll play it for you, so it goes like this, enjoy. So the intro and the verse are basically a series of chords, as is all music, but a series of block chords, I mean. And basically, the intro and the verse are the same, except for one chord, right? So you start with C, you play strings two to five, just a C chord. Then you have it again, then you have G over B, which is three and two on strings two and five, and you play strings two to five. Okay, with the open third and fourth. So you have three, zero, zero, two, right? So then you have A minor seven, which is C with the open A string. You play strings one, two, three, and five. Then you have F. Now this is the chord where, uh, where you change your string set from the verse to the intro. In the intro, you play, uh, you can play a barred F and you play strings two to five or two, three, four, and six, okay? Do it like this or like this okay without the bar just one two three three on strings two to five okay which is the bar but without the bar just one on the second string okay strings two to five on the verse you need the high f note so just play the barred chord and play strings one two three and six okay so in uh in the intro you have strings two to five in the verse you have strings one, two, three, and six. That's the only change. Then you have F again, strings one, two, three, and six. C, one, two, three, and five. G over B, two to five. C, two to five, okay? I allow myself to just brush over it because it's just a series of block chords, okay? It's nothing complicated. And then you have two different endings. So the first ending is C and G over B, Okay, strings two to five. Then I have A minor seven, and I play strings one, two, three, and four. Because then I let go of the finger from the second string, and I play those strings again. This gives me E minor. So this changes from A minor seven to E minor, and it's kind of gospel-y. It's kind of like the original voice leading, because... Okay, just one note difference makes it a different chord, okay? Uh, so that's what I choose to play here. And then G with three on the second string, and you play strings two, three, four, and six, okay? And then you have uh, the whole sequence again with a different ending. So C, C, G, A minor, seven, F, F, C, G over B, C. And then you have C, G over B again, and then A minor, seven again. But this time G, 
instead of E minor, you have G, strings 2, 3, 4, and 6, and then C again, strings 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, got it? It's the same thing. So that's the intro and the verse. Bet you didn't expect that, right? Same thing. And then you have the chorus E string, 3 on the B string, and then C with 1 on the B string. Okay? Hammer on to 1 on the E string and then the open E string again, and then 3, 3, 1 on the second string with F. So you put on a little F chord, not the bar chord, just a small F, and the pinky on 3. So. And you play the chord with the second three. Then you have F, E minor, F, and G. Again, block chords, but smaller blocks. F with one, two, three on strings, two, three, and five. E minor with zero, zero, two on the same strings. Then just two and three on strings, three and four for F. Okay, so it's the same F, but just these two notes. And then, uh, sorry, okay, it's C. You play strings three, four, and five. So it's Uh, sorry, it's not G, it's C. Um, okay. So F, E minor, F, C. And then you have C, G over B, like the intro. And then you have C again, but strings 1, 2, 3, and 5. And then E minor, strings 1, 2, 3, and 6. Right? So C, G, C, E minor. Then Three pull after one on the second, and then G with three on the second string. All right? Then you have C again. Okay, so it's the same move to F, just instead of the hammer on to one, you just play two open E strings. You're not playing, okay, you're playing just the open E string. That's the only difference. Then you have the E, uh, the F, E minor, F, C line. Then Then I have F with 3, 3, 1, 1 on the, um, on the second string. And then the open second string with G. 3 on the second string and then C with 1 on the second string. So it's... Okay? You can do... Okay? 3, 3, 1, 1 and play the F on the second 3. So that kind of gives you a little bit of a different expression there. Okay, so that's the chorus. Right? Pretty simple, except for all those block chords, uh, which in the chorus lead to more, a little bit of confusion there because it's a melody and then suddenly you're playing chords again. But uh, that's finger style for you. Uh, a little bit of variety. Never hurt anyone other than people who were hurt in variety shows. Uh, bad joke. So, um, bridge, bridge. Uh, the bridge is a little funkier. So it's uh, C with one. One on the second string, hammer on to two on the third, and then one on the second again. Okay? And you play the C again. And then you have this. You have 3-3 three, three on the 4th string with a G bass. This is G7. A very low G7. Then 0-2 on the 3rd and then C again with the 2nd string on 1. Then you have... Right? Right? It's C again with the open E string twice. 3-3 three, three pull off to 1 on the B string. Still funky. Just a beat of chord every now and then, and then okay, one zero on the second string into G, three one into C. Um, okay, and you play this twice. Okay, so mute in between to get that funky sound. Just mute with your palm. Just mute. And that's basically the song. A pretty short lesson, but a really cool song. Um, so before you go download the tab, which is free, the link of which is in the description below, you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because why not? You have hundreds of lessons. Check the playlists, find your way around. There are 
there's a ton of material uh, here for you for free as is the tab for free in the description you can find the link go to the website download the tab and uh, if you want to give something back uh, there's a patreon page the link is in the description as well or you can use the donation button on the link and ref website and i thank you in advance for your generosity anything you choose to give goes right back into lick and riff into your guitar education i'll see you in the next lesson thanks for watching bye for now enjoy